volunteers, and the organization, but choose to lurk in the shadows. They will not come out into the open and ask questions, make their point, man to man as a Freemason. Brethren, we cannot let these people win. I applaud the many new brethren taking on the leadership of their lodges as worshipful master. Whether they be like Ted Davis of Marupna, who took the chair after a 43-year sabbatical to lead its small group of members who are now galvanised and rearing to go. Or some of our younger masters, like worshipful brother Archie Alvarez, of Altona Lodge, steering a lodge full to the gunnels with brethren in white or light blue aprons. I salute all the worshipful masters, and as I've said to many of them, remember, you are elected by the brethren to lead and govern your lodge. So do not be afraid to exercise the power you have, and remember, it is not the lodge secretary or director of ceremonies that leads the brethren it is the worshipful master. Indeed, all installed masters are told that the honour and usefulness of your lodge will materially depend upon the skill and ability with which you manage its concerns. Everyone in our fraternity in Victoria can be the right man at the right time to take up the opportunity to make Freemasonry a bright light in our towns and communities again, attracting and retaining more men who share our values and who want to make the world a better place, one man at a time. Thank you, brethren.